medical facilities at the central block of the Port of Spain General Hospital have been relocated to the St. James Medical Center. This as Unicot makes way to begin construction of the new central block of the hospital. Speaking at a ceremony to mark the relocation, Minister of Health Terence Dial Singh said the St. James Medical Center is just one of other initiatives to boost the health sector. Ian Wade has more. Once known as the St. James Infirmary, the facility was transformed into the St. James Medical Complex several years ago. With the central block of the Port of Spain General Hospital now deemed uninhabitable and to be reconstructed, the St. James Complex is being utilized in the interim. On Tuesday, the two surgical wards of the central block, ICU, two isolation rooms, operating theater, as well as 69 beds were transferred to St. James. Health Minister Terence Dial Singh was proud to see the building is no longer haven for pigeons and dust. As a matter of fact, you can film episodes of House and Grey's Anatomy here. Mr. Dial Singh said the $40 million facility is one of a kind. You have a 24-7 A&E, two, cancer treatment, chemotherapy, radiation. Now you have a 69-bed facility for, as a secondary hospital. So there is no other facility in Trinidad and Tobago that offers you this suite of integrated services anywhere in Trinidad and Tobago. The health minister took time to explain the challenges the world is facing in the health system. He said for the past 10 years, the world has had to deal with the resurgence of swine flu, Ebola, chikungunya and Zika. He added some of these viruses are making a comeback. The bubonic plague, which we thought was consigned to the dustbin of medical history, is now making a comeback in some parts of the world. So you have to be prepared for that. Right now, there's a small outbreak of bubonic plague. Why? Because a couple decided to eat the raw kidney of a marmoset. Mr. Dial Singh said with the improved transportation modes across the world, viruses can spread quickly, thus increasing the risks. But the people who are charged with oversight of the health sectors in their respective countries, he said, are coping. Ian Wason, TTT News.